The journey was long and hard, but Sub-Zero defeated the four elemental gods. The first god he faced was Fujin, who could control winds and summon large tornadoes. The second was the god of Earth. He was a massive man with skin like stone. The third was the god of water, who summoned crashing waves from unexpected directions. The final challenge of the quest was the God of Fire. Sub-Zero's special powers were ineffective against his intense flames. That was perhaps the toughest fight of Sub-Zero's entire life. Immediately after the last god perished, Quan Chi appeared and grabbed the medallion that the guards were guarding. Quan Chi explained to Sub-Zero that the medallion belonged to his master called Shinnok a fallen elder god who was banished to a place called the Nether Realm. Being the most powerful warrior in that realm, Shinnok was the ruler and king of that hellish place. Quan Chi told Sub-Zero that Earth Realm was screwed and offended him by calling him a ninja. He then vanished. Raiden appeared out of nowhere, pissed as hell at Sub-Zero. The Thunder God convinced Sub-Zero that everything Quan Chi said was true, and he demanded that Sub-Zero retrieve the medallion from Quan Chi before something terrible happens. Raiden transported Sub-Zero to the Nether Realm. This would be Sub-Zero's first exposure to Hell, a place he would later actually want to call home and gradually turn darker and darker until he was completely black reflecting his cold dark soul. I will be back with the conclusion of this tale, Sub-Zero's pursuit of Quan Chi to bring back the medallion back to Earth.